Hi, it's me, Miss Block. I hope you remember who I am because I sure miss you all so much. It's crazy. I want to jump through the camera right now and just give you a big hug because that's how much I miss you. But today, because we can't hang out in person and read fun stories, I thought I would bring a fun story to share with you guys all. This is called Unlovable. Super, super cute. Look how cute that dog is. I want that dog in my house. Unlovable. Alfred was unlovable. At least that's what the cat told him every chance he got. You've got the ugliest mug I've ever seen. No one could love you. Alfred tried his best to ignore the remarks, but it was difficult, especially since the cat had taught the parrot to say, Unlovable, squawk! Unlovable, squawk, whenever Alfred walked by. The goldfish gurgled in agreement. But what is it that made him unlovable? His snoring? The way that he ate? His little curly tail? None of the neighborhood dogs would have a thing to do with him. His mouth is too small to hold a ball, a big German shepherd sneered. His legs are way too short for running, snickered a greyhound. A pampered poodle chuckled, did you see that face? That is not nice. Beat it, shrimp, growled a Doberman. You couldn't even scare a mailman. Alfred didn't like staying in the house since the cat was always making fun of him. The parrot was always squawking, unlovable, squawk, and the goldfish was always gurgling in agreement. So Alfred spent most of his time alone in the backyard. One day, a new family moved in next door. Alfred tried to see if they had a dog who might be his friend, but he was too little to look over the fence. As he was sniffing around, he heard something on the other side. Hello, Alfred called. Hi, came the answer. I'm Rex. I just moved in. My name is Alfred. And without thinking, he blurted out, I'm a golden retriever. Glad to meet you, Rex replied. If you know dogs, you know that he is not a golden retriever. He's a little dog, and golden retrievers are big, fluffy dogs. But this new dog doesn't know what he is because he can't see him. Alfred and Rex talked for hours. Alfred said he liked sleeping in the sun, dog food, and scratching. Rex did too. Rex said he hated baths and going to the vet. Alfred did too. It began to get dark. Soon it was time for dinner and they both went inside. That night, Alfred thought about how much he liked Rex and how much they had in common. Then he thought about the fib he had told. Alfred was sure if they'd be friends as long as Rex never saw how unlovable he was. So everything that Alfred had said to Rex was true except that he was a golden retriever. The next day when Alfred and Rex were chatting, a squirrel jumped onto the fence between them. They both barked at it. The squirrel took one look at Alfred and climbed up a tree. Rex said, you sure showed that squirrel who's boss, Alfred. But Alfred was thinking, if Rex ever sees me, he'll run away too. Alfred had to laugh. Who cared what the others said? Rex was his friend, and Rex liked him just the way he was. Together, Alfred and Rex ran. They jumped, they played, and Alfred never felt unlovable again. The end. So my friends, he made a friend with his neighbor Rex. And it's super important that you believe that you are good enough and that you are lovable and that I love you and your friends love you and your family loves you. Always remember that. And if you have a dog, give your dog a hug to make sure that they are loved. I hope you enjoyed it.